My name is Claire Sugden. I'm an independent candidate for the Northern Ireland Assembly elections representing East Londonderry. I have been an MLA for just under two years since the passing of my dear friend and predecessor David McClarty. His passing was unexpected. Uh, my becoming an MLA therefore was unexpected. Um, I was very conscious that I didn't know the constituency of East Londonderry as well as he had. Um, very conscious they didn't know me. So I have spent the past two years on the ground getting to know my constituents and the issues that matter to them. I um, have been involved in politics for nearly 10 years. I'm educated in politics. Um, indeed, no qualification can teach you that politics is about people. I certainly learned that from David. And that, that's what I will focus my candidacy on, um, that if I get elected again, the next five years will be about the people of East London Derry and tackling the issues that matter to them. It is 18 years since the Good Friday Agreement. That means people born in 1998 when the Good Friday Agreement was signed will be voting for the first time this year. Have we moved any further forward in that generation? I'm not sure we have. I think in order for Northern Ireland to move truly forward, we need to have better politics. And better politics begins with better politicians. I'm educated and experienced in politics. I studied politics at university. I have over 10 years experience working in politics. But most importantly, I have a good track record of working with people on the ground. I have asked more questions than any MLA in Northern Ireland in my two years. In my two years as an independent, I have done more than some of the big parties have done in 10. For two years, I have been progressing the needs and issues relating to older people. Northern Ireland is an ageing population. If we don't tackle our services relating to older people now, we're going to have a disaster on our hands in 50 years' time. If I get elected again, I will be progressing these issues. I will be lobbying the Health Minister to ensure he has the proper provision in place in respect of domiciliary and residential care services. We need to look out for our older people. Crimes against older people is becoming a serious issue. And we also need to look at domestic violence um, with our older people. Northern Ireland is a rural economy. Over 90% of business here are small medium enterprises and most of those are farmers. To ensure the Northern Ireland economy moving forward we need to protect our rural interests. If elected I have committed to looking at legislation which will protect our farmers in terms of the price they receive for their produce. I will also look at rural services. Rural services currently are really poor and access to those services, whether through community transport or other means, are difficult for people living out in the country. We need to address this so that people in rural areas have as much uh, opportunity to the public services that we get in other areas of Northern Ireland. I am keen to progress educational opportunities for those children with autism, ADHD and learning disabilities. Working with constituents in recent months, I have seen how our education system is failing children who don't have the same abilities as other children in Northern Ireland. This is not good enough. Every child should have access to high quality education. And I will be fighting this with the next education minister if I'm elected. You have six seats to fill on the 5th of May. Ensure at least one of those represents you by voting independent Claire Sugden number one. Only an independent can truly represent you at Stormont.